Hey guys, welcome back to another video here with The Common Investor. Today's topic is going to be on monthly dividend stocks uh, for passive income. Um, the stocks that I'll be showing are mainly REITs. Uh, REITs are real estate investment trusts. Um, REITs are required to pay out 90% of uh, their profits. So um, that's why you see those higher dividend yields and they're mainly monthly payers. Um, so I'll get into the, the three that I would recommend. Uh, first, it would be um, ticker symbol GOOD. Um, that's Gladstone Commercial Corp. Uh, they have a dividend yield of about 8% right now um, with that high dividend yield. Um, they don't have much capital appreciation as you can see over five years. Um, they're only up 17%. Um, however, if you're investing in them, um, you're really just investing for that dividend and that monthly payout. Um, as of right now, Gladstone Commercial Corp pays out $0.12 cents, uh, every single month that you own per stock you own. Um, so if you own $100 worth of Gladstone Commercial Corp, you'd be a, you'd have about $0.60 cents coming in every single month. Um, and as you can see, they don't change their uh, dividend at all for the past few years. Um, I believe they haven't changed it in the last nine years. Um, so that's the f first one. That's ticker symbol GOOD, Gladstone Commercial Corp. Next monthly dividend payer that I'm going to get into is O, ticker symbol O. O is Realty Income Corporation, um, another REIT. Uh, dividend yields is a little bit lower, about 4.5%. Uh, however, as you can see over the past year, they're up 41%. Uh, they, have, they do have capital appreciation, um, and they do increase their dividend over time. So it's kind of a, a different play, uh, more of a high, higher dividend. Um, if we look at their ex-dividend date, they pay out about $0.22 cents every single month. Uh, as you can see there, um, they just increased it from $0.22.1 cents to $0.22.6. Cents. Um, and, that's, and this is another monthly dividend payer. Oh, Realty Income actually brands themselves as the monthly dividend paying stock. Um, last monthly dividend payer on the list here is my personal favorite. It is SPHD. And it's that's the ticker symbol SPHD. Um, SPHD is an Investco's uh, high dividend, low volatility ETF. Uh, as you can see over the past year, they haven't moved very much. It's very it's more of a, a safer play um, with that high dividend of about, um, let's see, where is it, of about 4.75%. So what Invesco does is they, they take 50 of the least volatile names in the S&P 500. Uh, they take 75 of the highest dividend yields, yielding stocks in the S&P 500, and then take the 50 least volatile of those. Um, and make that into this ETF. I've been buying heavily into that. If you watch my last video, I'll attach a, um, a link in the description here. Um, I had mentioned that in my M1 Finance account, I am putting all of my money that I put into the account into that stock um, just for that, the monthly payment. Um, so if we look at their ex-dividend here, it's definitely all over the place because they, they do change the stocks that are in, inside of it. Um, but it generally stays around 13, 14, 15 cents a share every single month. Um, and this is personally one that I am investing heavily into. So if you like the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know what you thought in the description below. And let me know what your, your portfolios are looking like. Um, and as always, um, if you're looking to open up a Robinhood account or an M1 Finance account, feel free to use the links in the description below. You'll get, either get a free stock if you're going on Robinhood, or you'll get a free $10 if you sign up with M1 Finance. Thanks, guys.